What do you think the issue is with modern dating? Um, I think men are idiots. All of them. <laughs> if you're not sucking my toes, we're not gonna last too long. Oh, hell no! What's the worst lie you ever told an ex? That I didn't cheat on him. Oh. I hope to get a girlfriend like you one day. Uh, yeah, I'm wifey material. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. How many people do you see on a daily basis? As many as you want. Today, how many have you seen so None. far? None. None yet? Not yet. Yo, I have my first one coming, and yeah, you know, I always say you can make as much as you want to make. What would you say oh. your daily average is? I try to like make five at least. Five what? Hundred. You said you've been doing this for four or five years? Yeah, four years. How much money have you made in the last four years? Oh my years? god, probably at least almost two million dollars. Two million dollars. All through f work. Yeah, but I was getting I high, so like, you know, a lot of it gone. It's just... The lifestyle. Everything that goes into it. Does everybody know you out here? If a girl ever tells you this, it's time to move on. She's for the streets. So, how much money did you say you make each year? Wouldn't you like to know? Well, the last guy I was hooking up with did that. You should probably hit him back up then. You do not deserve me at my best if you cannot handle me at my worst. To be honest, yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle that. Stop being jealous. We were just texting. Yeah, you go ahead and uh, keep texting them then. Is so quick to talk about like oh my god wake me up with morning head give me morning head to wake me up F not me i don't want your stank breath all over my poo tank so that when i stand up i smell like i got dog breath on me stinky as doo-doo doggy breath and now it's on me i know what i'm like in the morning i know what i smell and taste like probably not great i sweat all night i don't want either of us participating in that event we're out. Cancel us. Gonna go back to what I know. Gonna go back to what the fuck I know, man. This shit getting dumb. This not going. Yo, 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 what do you do for a living? Huh? What do you do for a living? Oh, thank you. Thank no, you. What, what do you do for a living? No, no. What? What do you do? For How old are you? I'm 21. How tall are you? I'm six foot one. Right now I'm six four though. Are you single? Yeah. That's a tall woman. How easy is dating for you? Not too easy. Not too easy for sure. Why do you say that? As a tall blonde woman, I draw a lot of attention. And it's not in like a conceited way. It's just genuinely like I get a lot of eyeballs on me because I stand out. And a lot of men, it's very hard to be secure when everyone is looking at your woman. And I totally get that. It's just something that comes with having a woman that's like 5'10 or taller. Because I've had bad experiences with tall men and short men. I definitely... I'm attracted more to a person's soul and who they actually are than their, their physical. And feeling protected is more about a feeling, not a physical thing. You can't control what you look like. You can't control your height. And so. why do you think so many women lean on the height as a factor? He has to be 6'5 or at least 6'. Because they want to feel small and they want to feel all little and like a girl. Like, it's, it's, it's bullshit. Stop the cap. <laughs> I am literally I am so exhausted from people that I am literally going to take this weekend and just fucking plan a fucking camping trip for myself and my dogs and just me in a tent no cell phone nothing no people <sighs> Did anyone else feel like this? Because I'm just so done with people and their needs and their emotions. It's time for me to go off the grid for a bit. How's being strong and independent now? When that career boss lady lifestyle doesn't end up being as fun as advertised, did she really think she was going to get a higher paying career that's fun and not stressful? No one pays other people to do fun hobbies, because that's what they are if the jobs are fun. Hobbies. That's why it's called work. It sucks to do, hence why someone will pay you to do it instead of them. It's not like the sitcom shows where the female is some marketing director or miraculously affords living in an apartment in a big city on a minimum wage. The city girl lifestyle in reality is expensive, and if the skill isn't super specialized, you're going to make up for it by spending more time at work, including overtime. 
Most people who make a lot of money trade time for money, and today even the specialized jobs are 9 to 5, 5 days a week. Ironically, she has to make one final post about going off the grid, before going off the grid. This is just an attention post. Her life isn't important enough to be broadcast to the world. She's not curing cancer, yet she needs the world to know she's going off grid. That's classic narcissism. I give her five hours. Being off grid sounds good to these hipster females until they can't take a daily shower or have a fridge full of food. Just wait till she can't stream Netflix because her cell phone reception doesn't work in the wilderness. Modern women in the feminist West are the most spoiled class of people in the world. She should take her misery antenna out of her nose. That might help too. She's the stereotypical feminist, has a bull nose ring, has tats all over her body, and owns a pet instead of having kids. She's a future cat lady for sure. And so far, even in her prime or close to it, she doesn't seem too happy about being strong and independent. This is pre-hitting the wall and she can't deal with the work stress and responsibilities already. This is why the wall is still undefeated. These are three ways to tell your girl is for the streets. Number one, she goes to raves. That's insane. They be half naked, the butt be out for sure. They go on there on crazy amounts of all the candies and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Grinding up on people like that's just crazy to me. Second way to tell is her snap is always hitting. She'll open up all the snaps and then just send one picture to every single snap. I be watching it. I be right here and I see them do that. But I know I'm, I'm the one, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. That's just the game though. That's exactly how things are going to go. Why? Because I was at the top of the list. I had to distinguish myself from all the rest. Now I'm the one watching everyone get the same generic snap while I'm in buns. Number three should be at the bars. Bro, need I say more? That's crazy. Be at the bars getting all these drinks and stuff. What? Y'all be paying for these drinks too, bro. That's the sad part. She gonna take your money, it might be able to hit, and she out of there. I think going back to this picture thing on Instagram, if you're a genuinely pretty girl and you give off those nice vibes, you are going to get those attention from those yeah. males. But it's your choice whether you feed it or not. And then you're part of the problem because you fed it. Isn't it feeding it to post those pictures and to have an open Instagram account where any man can message you? Agreed. But you can go down the path of saying, I'm posting this to feel good, to do good for He's me. He's fucking those girls to feel good. And there's <laughs> other ways. <laughs> Oh, is it stupid okay so posting pictures as a woman online i can't do that but you can go and sleep with multiple women because you're high value you don't have to stay oh. i'll replace you you don't have well, to do you it. Don't have to if her ass and titties are on the internet that is an active billboard of marketing to get attention from other men and possibly through hypergamy transition away from you to someone else and if she truly loves you she will take that shit down does size matter to you Yes. It does. It does. What is your ideal size? I want to say my ideal size is probably within like like 9 to 10 inches. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That's mm -hmm. pretty big. Yeah, I like it really big though. You know, like if it's small, then I feel like I can't really enjoy it as much. Okay, so you're like a size queen. Yes. yes. Got it. Yes. So you said you like 9 to 10 inches. I want to see if you can guess 9 to 10 inches on this tape measure. Probably like that. Let's see what we have there. Show the camera. Okay, it looks like you got right at eight inches. Eight? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, I was close. <laughs> close. Honestly, but that's still pretty big. Yeah, this is pretty big. Yeah. I like it thick too. It has to be thick, mm -hmm. you know? Okay, so you like it almost bigger like bigger than, than my head, almost. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, that's definitely big. All right. Whoever is the beta that tries to save her from the streets and marries her is gonna get cheated on or eventually divorce robbed because he physically can't please her. She's looking for a dollar foot long. What she described was another arm from a horror movie. You see that type of appendage on a horse. This is why if she has a high body count and she's attractive, chances are she's been stretched out by big old Johnsons. So next time you get rejected by one of these thoughts, just know it's probably for the better. What's your age? 22. Are you single? No. How long you had a man? Five years. And how long have you had a baby? She's almost two. Was it with him or with somebody else? With him. So how much does he have to make to take care of you and your daughter? Um, at least a thousand a month. A thousand a month? Food, you know, groceries, car insurance, diapers, wipes. Now, how much would you say a man has to make annually to take care of a family of three? Um, annually, overall, at least 30 grand. 
a year. On just a baby? Or? Every expense you would need for a stay-at-home mom and a child. But if he's spending 30K a year on both you and, and your daughter, how much more would he need to make to live comfortably? Oh, we are comfortable. That's comfortable. So a family of three could survive off of just 40K a year? Yeah. It's just not going to be a lavish lifestyle. But this economy sucks. <laughs> so you just make it work? Yeah. Wow, she's a keeper. She's like 1% of all American women, because especially today, there are females who are much less attractive than her who wouldn't even look at a man who made 50k. This just proves to all the feminists who claim that they need to work a job because being a stay-at-home mom is too expensive. No, they don't. Yes, everything is more expensive and the quality of life in the West is worse than 20 years ago, but a family just starting out can live in a cheap area and cook home-cooked meals. The husband can start out working a humble hourly job and drive a used old beat-up pickup truck. So it is possible. It's just that these entitled females who look like streetwalkers and trolls think they deserve at least a six-figure man right off the bat. And he has to be handsome and funny on top of that. Wow, she's very realistic and knows that logically a family of three can indeed live comfortably but not lavishly on 40000 a year. More women like her are needed. Not 40, but 30k per year. A hundred years ago, in remote parts of the country, settlers got by living with an income of almost zero. They just lived off the land in their cabin or shack that they built by hand and hunted for food. She's based. Lucky guy. Would people rate her a six or call her average looking? Most guys will be happy with a six who can be happy with him making 30k a year. Granted, his goals should be to make more. But this beats any smoke show, because the saying goes, no matter how hot she is, someone is tired of screwing her. These super hot females are a huge headache and super spoiled. Depending on where she lives, 30k is enough, especially for back road and rural towns. Exactly. There are a lot of cheap places in America where you can live comfortably on a lower income. It's just not flashy or full of thoughts. And she's 22, and she's been with her man for 5 years, which means they started dating in high school when she was just 17. So they were high school sweethearts who probably lost their virginity to each other. She could pair bond fully. This is how most marriages should be. And because she has a country accent, I'm willing to bet her husband is a country boy, meaning he's masculine, which is the great equalizer. Just like a plain Jane can be more attractive if she's super feminine, a man can wear a $5 Walmart t-shirt and work an average job if he's masculine enough. The woman wouldn't care. All right, let's go, you little crackheads. I'm not gonna lie, I'm going a little fucking crazy today, so I'm not sure it's gonna come out of my mouth, but just rock with me here. I need to say this to the ladies that are pursuing athletes or dating athletes, specifically professional athletes, okay? Um, stop burying your fucking life six feet under because you see some fucking zeros on his contract and now you think you can quit your fucking job and everything else and just piggyback off of his success. That's great. Good for him. Until he fucking cheats on you, then what? Then what's up? Then you're stuck in this fucking relationship because you don't have shit on your own. So while he's fucking other bitches, you're self-imploding because you don't have shit, okay? Don't be this bitch. Get your bag on your own. Be successful on your own. Not to mention, men fucking love this shit. 99% of the time, the women that they end up with, it's because she already had it on her own before him, okay? So just keep in mind that this man is an addition, not a fucking replacement to your current life. I love you. Despite this thought being blessed with good enough looks to get pro athletes' attention at time, she hasn't gotten a commitment from one. Instead, the whole team passes her around, and when she hits the wall, she'll be empty-handed. Rich athletes, especially since they're successful, aren't looking for a career woman. The whole point of becoming rich is so the wife can stay at home to raise the kids. If these women are able to be in a relationship with a pro baller, all they have to do is make his life easier. Cook a hot meal and have it ready when he comes home after practice. Give him a back rub because he's sore all the time, and just be pleasant. That's how low the bar is. But because these thoughts who win the relationship lottery just freeload, there's no difference between them and the thousands of other thoughts who are gunning for that spot. So they get dumped and the athlete reloads with another bimbo. As being cheated on, that comes with being with a pro athlete. This goes for any high value man that's also physically attractive. He's going to get hit on and pursued by attractive women everywhere he goes. These women want the benefits of being with a celeb or a high value handsome man, but not the consequences. These entitled women need to get in their mind that they're part of the pro athlete's life, not the other way around. And if they are a thought, they're an accessory to his lifestyle, like a used condom that he flushes down the toilet. Women don't need to listen to other women for dating tips because a man will usually tell them what he does and doesn't like. 
Men are straight up and to the point. A relationship costs more to a man than a woman, especially today. So if a woman doesn't correct herself and he's self-respecting, he'll move on. My god! Captain, the lifeboats are ready to go. Should we load the women and children first? No, men and children first. Excuse me, sir. It's 2022, Private. A woman can handle a sinking ship just as well as a man can. And if you don't think so, you're a misogynistic asshole stuck in 2008. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, for the time being, I am requiring men and children only. Whoa! Are you kidding me? It's 2022. This is what you wanted. You wanted to be treated equal to men? Well, this is how men are treated. No, we don't. We just say that half the time. We don't actually believe in it. Yeah, we do. Come on. We're just as capable as men are. Shut, Shut up! up! I identify as a man! It's 2022! Jack. Do you think I could open the door? It's 2022, Rose. I wouldn't want to imply that you can't handle the ice cold water the same way a man could. I think I'm dying, Jack. Oh, 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 oh. I love 2022. Because you know he black. Your wife. I am definitely head of my household. I, I ain't asked about the house. The wife is the head of the house. Are you the head of your wife? The household means the wife, children, dog, bills, it means it all. Are you the head of your wife? Jesse, do you have dementia, brother? Are you the head? You didn't answer that question yet. I didn't ask you about the house. I didn't ask you about the dog. I didn't ask you about the finance. I asked you about your wife only. I think, I think Jesse, you're developing dementia, brother. Come on, now, you're asking the same question, yeah, and you're not answering it. You know, or do you have a listening issue, my brother? I don't care about you, Jesse. I'll listen this time. Are you the head of your wife? I'm the head of my complete household. Wife, children. Come on now, dog. Dog, bills, everything. I didn't ask. That's not the question. Are you the head of your wife? Jesse, you have a hearing problem, my brother. You're not answering the question. How many of y'all heard me say that of everything? How many people heard me say it? I didn't ask about everything. Okay. See, they, they, they don't agree with you. You don't agree, right? See, they don't agree with you. We got to wrap it up. All right, everybody. Jesse Lee Peterson. Jesse Lee Peterson. We'll do a round for another time. You didn't answer the question. Yes no question. Thank you. Are you the head of your wife? And the answer, it, but the man is supposed to be the head of his wife. Did you hear me say I'm the head of my household? No, 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 wife, no, no, children. No, no. Okay, if you're not head of your children, then what are you? You said household means everything. Beta. Oh, nice. Beta. Now we can't even talk if you don't have a woman, Jesse. Uh, yeah. I really want to know what it feels like to be the person in the relationship that. Once you come home from vacation, your partner's the one that is unpacking your suitcase, doing all your laundry, folding it, putting the suitcases away. Like, I want to know what he feels like right now. Really bad. And it's not like he's making me do it. I just, I can't look at that suitcase sitting in the hallway forever. So, when you stick it in my mouth, do you want me to look you in your eyes? Just blind in the breathalyzer, please, love. Why is it when you have big boobs, guys think that they're full of milk? It's saline. <laughs> There's absolutely no milk in my boobs. You only have milk in your boobs when you're pregnant. Surgery. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get five bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.